This video is to show you how to link up a Google Docs spreadsheet with the attendance app from Android for Academics. So the first thing you do is you open up your app and you'll see this empty list uh, of cl called classes. I don't have any classes in there right now. Uh, to add a class you hit the menu button and then hit add class and it brings up this add class wizard. Go next. It's going to ask you for three pieces of information. The first piece of information is the name of your spreadsheet. And as you can see, uh, the name of our spreadsheet is Demo. So that's what I'm entering in up top there. It also asks you for your username and password for the Google account. <laughs> now, I'm going to set this down so I can enter it in a bit more quickly. Uh, the reason we have this option instead of just by default integrating with whatever Google account you've linked your phone to is that we find that there are quite a few teachers out there who like to use separate Google accounts for the purposes of course management. So we wanted to make sure that you had the flexibility to, to link spreadsheets from multiple different Google accounts. So each spreadsheet gets linked to a Google account. So now that you've got this stuff in there, the name, username, and password. You hit next, it's going to start searching for the spreadsheet. Once it finds it, it's going to ask you to enter in a display name. I'm just going to go with demo, but that could be the name of your course, whatever. Uh, hit the next button, and then there's one more set of options. Uh, you'll notice that I have in the A and B column last name and first name. Uh, some people might only have one column for names. If you do, there's really not anything you need to do here. But if you have multiple columns, one for last name and first name, click that button uh, and just let it know which column is which. And then it also is going to want to know what row contains the first student name. In most cases, that's going to be row two. So just make sure row two is selected. And then you're done. Now watch what happens. I just hit done and it is now creating an absent total column, a late total column, and it's going through and plunking in zeros for each student. Now the spreadsheet's ready to go. So let me show you how it works. Now you'll look at your list of classes and you've got the demo class. When you click on demo, it actually pulls the name of your students. You see I've got Tom Barry, Kim Cooper, Bob Doan, and James Fisher, which is exactly who I have over here. And so what you do is you open up the app on the, on the start, at the start of class um, and you go through and you start marking students absent. So let's say, let's say Tom Barry was absent and let's say Bob Doan was late. We'll mark them as late. Uh, when you're ready to submit, you hit this menu button and then you hit submit. Now I'm going to hit submit, but I'm going to take you over here and show you what happens. Uh, I hit the submit button and you'll see it dumped in the date of Tom Barry's absent and gave him a one for the absent total. And it dumped in a late with the date for Bob Doan and then added a late to his total as well. Now, let's say you took attendance and a student walks in. Let's say Tom Barry comes in. Um, late and you've already marked him absent and you want to give him a break, if you just long press on his name, it gives you the option of marking the last absent as late. And when you do that, come over here and you see it just turned to late and it dumped that uh, late total over there. And then what will happen is each day thereafter, here let's pretend another there's another day. So we're, let's pretend we've got a new day. We open up the app and let's say this time um, Tom's absent again again and he doesn't show up late and let's say everyone else is on time. Uh, hit the submit button. Come over here and you'll see that it's actually dumped in another date in the next uh, row over as an absent date and then it tallied it right here. So <clears throat> you just do this throughout the semester and then at the end of the semester you just paste your names and absent totals into your gradebook spreadsheet and you are good to go. A uh, couple of other features. From the classes list, 
Uh, if you long press on demo, it gives you two options. That's how you delete classes. So if you want to get rid of that, you just delete it. It also gives you a reset formula option. Let me show you what that is. Uh, in the, the, the app is programmed to just plunk in the formulas you need to do absent totals and late totals. But in the event that you, you know, accidentally delete something or mess something up here, um, you can hit the reset formula button and it'll go through and reset all of those formulas and get everything back working for you. So that's how it works. Uh, <clears throat> good luck with the semester.